Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to a new episode of Q&A Andy Japandi, where I answer your questions about life in Japan. So question number one, what made you want to study abroad in your location? So I've already covered this question before, but the TLDR is that I served in Yokosuka from 2013 to 2015, got out of the Navy, went back to America to study, didn't really like it, took a break for a little bit, decided I wanted to come back to Japan, applied to a school after rehabilitating my GPA, got in, and I've been here ever since, at the uh, tail end of 2019 before everything went to hell in a handbasket, basically. So question number two, how did you pick your program? So the school I'm going to right now is Lakeland University of Japan, which is based out in Shinjuku, out in Tokyo. And right now I'm doing remote classes because of the you know what. And as far as the program goes, there's a total of three different programs offered at Lakeland. There's an EAS course, which is for those who are looking to improve their English speaking ability. There's the associate's degree track, which I completed last year, 2020, on my 35th birthday, mind you. Woo. And then there's the track that I'm currently on, which is the bachelor's program. Now, currently, at the time of this recording, Lakeland University of Japan only offers one major for the bachelor's program, which just kicked off this year, 2021. Woo. And that major is business administration. But it also offers three different concentrations. And the concentration that I'm going for is in communications. So the basic reason why I chose that program is that, well, it's the only one offered right now, so. So question number three, what did you pack that you definitely didn't need? So one of the things I would definitely pack a lot less of would have been clothes. I brought way too many clothes with me out here to Japan. I think if I were to have redone my packing, I would have packed uh, two weeks worth of clothing instead of three. And also wouldn't have brought a suit, dress shoes, dress pants, all that stuff because you're the one that's gotta end up carrying it from the airport to wherever you're staying. So just try to be kind to your back and shoulders if possible. And another thing to consider are the different weight restrictions for international flights. One thing that happened to me on my flight from America to Japan was that one of my flights got redirected. So originally I was gonna go through uh, Canada, but it got redirected to London and there's different weight restrictions involved with that. So I ended up having to chuck a lot of stuff that I had originally packed with me just to even make it on the flight. So that's something else to definitely consider. So question number four, how are classes different there from classes here? So once again, the school I'm going to, Lakeland University of Japan, is an American school originally based out in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. So they have a totally American curriculum. So really there's not a whole lot of difference between taking classes at Lakeland versus taking them anywhere else in America. The one thing I will mention is that obviously the student body is a lot different in the Japan campus versus the American campus. So they are primarily Japanese because well, we're in Japan after all, right? So I would say it's a 70-30 split between uh, Japanese and international students. Although depending on the classes, that can fluctuate. So obviously there are a lot of cultural differences between the Japanese students and international students. Uh, one of the things I notice is that when being asked questions by the teachers, unless specifically called upon, Japanese students aren't willing to answer. So after a while, the teachers have to end up like picking somebody. <laughs> and that was really uh, hard for me to get used to at first because I'm used to at least somebody answering a question just to kind of keep things moving along. But the teacher would just take a whole bunch of time just to get somebody to answer a question. And meanwhile, everybody's on Zoom like completely stone faced. So the one thing I did learn as an international student, and this will definitely help you, uh, if you're planning on coming out here to uh, study at either Lakeland or another campus out here in Japan, is to just answer the first one or two questions for the class and then just shut up, unless you're explicitly called upon. That way, it gives the other students a chance to interact, especially, again, with Japanese students not being used to 
that sort of teaching format it gives them a chance to uh, work up the courage to answer some questions. Whereas if you're busy hogging it all the time, then they're going to feel less encouraged to participate. And plus there's some who will be like, well, let's just leave it to the, the loud foreigner to answer all the questions. You got this. So just answer the first few questions and unless you're explicitly called upon, shut up. So question number five, which class was your favorite? So I'd just like to say if there's any teachers watching this video that all of the classes I've taken over at Lakeland have been very special in their own way. Okay, are they gone? All right, so the real class that I liked the most was definitely art of film. And the obvious reason being is that I love filmmaking. I love making videos on the internet, both on my personal channels as well as uh, for the YouTubers, for clients, for production companies. I love doing what I do. And to be able to study more of the art and just kind of the why behind different uh, scene choices, effects, and just breaking down scenes in films has really made me, I believe, a much better editor and has given me more of an eye as far as learning more of the ins and outs of cinema. And doing scene breakdowns is something I'm actually considering doing for another one of my channels. So be on the lookout for that soon. So question number six, what is your favorite phrase slash word to say in the language you've learned? Actually, I recently learned that another way to say America in Japanese is Beikoku. And so the last question for tonight, question number seven. What advice do you have for immersing yourself in a new language? So the best advice that I can give you as far as learning to immerse yourself in learning a new language is to, well, immerse yourself in that language. It's very easy for us foreigners out here in Japan to get caught up within our own little bubbles, whether that's work bubbles, friend bubbles, even just with our own little bubble at home where you don't have to worry about Japanese. But if you really want to learn the language, it takes more than just simply being here. You have to make effort to learn the language, which is something I myself have to make more of an effort in doing. Full transparency. So I would definitely get yourself outside Get yourself in environments where you're actually using the language rather than just spouting out random textbook phrases. So yeah guys, that was Q and Andy Japandi. And if you have any questions about life in Japan, studying abroad in Japan, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the booby boops. And your question could be in the next video. And one more thing before I go guys, if you're interested in studying abroad out here in Japan, like myself, my school, Lakeland University of Japan, is offering a referral scholarship. So if you're interested in that and want to discuss things further, be sure to leave me a little something in the comments down below in the boobity boops and we'll go from there. So with all that said guys, this is the Andy San. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.